Hey gals and guys, this is Wartortle from Lexi's Help Desk, and today I'm going to walk you through installing part three of the guide. Uh, it's one of the more tedious parts of the guide, uh, but I'm going to show you the fastest way that I know how to do it. Take it slow because there are lots of opportunities to make mistakes. What we're trying to do in this section is make multiple overhauls uh, of uh, the appearance of the non-player characters, or NPCs, and we're trying to make all of them work together. Uh, in order to do that, there's uh, lots of little detailed steps uh, to pay attention to. So we're gonna I'm going to walk you through the first part of it, and then you'll get the hang of it and be able to keep going. So the first thing we're going to do is switch over to Mod Organizer 2, and this is just a test build. So I only have required files yours. On the left pane, you'll see everything that you installed from parts 1 and 2. We only need for this video the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch and cutting room floor. That's why you only see them. So the first thing we're going to do is install a mod called Diversity. I already have downloaded it. Uh, you'll hopefully see it just at the top of your list as you download it. Um, you can see it on the website here, Diversity. You'll, the file you need is the CRF vanilla hair edition file. Okay, at the time of this video, it's version 3.31 CRF. Download that. Okay, so as we switch back to Mod Organizer 2, that's this file uh, right here, Vanilla Hair Edition 3.31. I'm going to double click and choose OK. This uh, overhaul is going to be the base that we build on. So uh, if there's nothing better out there, it's going to default to diversity. Uh, but for the most part, most of these files are actually going to be overwritten uh, and won't appear in game. Now, once it's installed, activate it in the left pane by clicking the checkbox. The next file we need is off of the patches for diversity character overhaul, and it's in the optional files. As you scroll down, you'll see the OBIS patch for vanilla hair. Make sure you get the vanilla hair one. Download that. While you're here, if you scroll back up, you'll also see the CFTO, or Carriages Fairies Travel Overhaul patch. Feel free to grab it while you're here. It'll be on page four of the guide if you don't want to do it now. I'm going to switch back to Mod Organizer 2. So what I'm going to do now is install the OBIS patch for vanilla hair. That's this one here. Double click and choose OK. Activate it in the left pane. The next mod is probably the most complicated one to install, and that's Wicco, uh, or Windsong Overhaul. So this is the file you need, the 0.9F at the time of this video. Double click it, follow the FOMOD instructions on the website. In this case, it, we choose Custom, Next, we choose Additional Followers, Next, and then choose Install. You'll see that most of the files uh, are BSA files or archive files. Um, the key thing with this is to do not extract the BSAs using the mod extract uh, the BSA extractor in mod organizer 2. So when this pops up, do you want to unpack it? Choose no. Okay. We're going to activate this in the left pane and switch over to plugins. This step um, is a little bit complicated and I'll explain what we're doing, but um, what we need to do is we need to take Wicco and make it work with USSCP and cutting room floor because uh, when this was made, uh, it was not made with these two files as masters. So to do that, we need to download the stripped BSA. Uh, it, I know it says striped. It's pronounced stripped. Just deal with it. Uh, and uh, we need to replace this BSA for the one that's in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click it, say Reveal in Explorer. I'm going to right-click the file and open it with 7-zip. You can see we have a new BSA here, and we're going to extract it. And you need to navigate to wherever your installation of Mod Organizer 2 is. In this case, I'm going to use the MO2 tutorial, mods, and choose Wicco. Then click OK. You need to navigate to the folder on your hard drive. Uh, when prompted, say yes, you want to overwrite and then you can close 7-zip. We now have the new BSA in our mod. Okay, now 
we need to use a script uh, for XEdit that you downloaded in the prerequisite section uh, called the Hishi NPC uh, record forwarding. So we only need certain files for this, so I'm going to deactivate diversity, vanilla diversity, immersive character, Dawn Guard. Um, you can do this in XEdit. For me, it's going to be easier here. I'm going to go to the executable bar and choose SSE Edit and choose Run. So when prompted for the module selection, this is the other place that you can do it, right? You can uh, right click, choose Select None, and then make sure that you only have those three files active. It'll pull in any required masters. You choose OK. And uh, XEdit will load. Uh, and just like every other time uh, when it, you're prompted to choose mod groups, you can choose OK. We don't use them for our guide. Now, once it says background, load, or finished, in the left pane, hold down the control button and choose these three files, the USSEP, Cutting Room Floor, and Wicco Immersive People. Right-click on any of them to choose Apply Script. You are going to click in the script bar and scroll down until you see Hishi NPC Record Forwarding. This is going to make all of these three mods work together. Go ahead and choose OK. Uh, this will tell you what all it's going to edit if you're interested. You don't need to change anything, so you can just choose OK. It's going to prompt you to say, do you want to add those two files as masters? You do. So choose yes, and it's going to do some work. You can see that it's cleaning the records and cleaning any identical to prior overrides. This is going to help ensure that we get the correct faces in our game. Do you want to continue with Cutting Room Floor as a master? Yes. And now you just need to wait for the script to do its work. Uh, it may take a few minutes, uh, may take a few seconds. It's all dependent on your computer. It takes me about a minute. And you can see that now we're done. Oh, look at that, exactly a minute. Um, and you can see that uh, Wicco Immersive People is now in bold, showing that this plugin has been modified. All you have to do now is close XEdit, make sure that this box is checked so it saves the new plugin, and choose OK. At this point, uh, I'm going to reactivate all my plugins so that I know that I'm good to go. OK, there are a few more steps that we need to do with Wicco. Now that we uh, have, now that we have the correct cleaned archive, we don't need the files to be packed in archives. We actually want them to be loose. So if you go over here to archives, um, you can see every BSA that is being managed by MO2. If you scroll down to Wicco, we want to extract these three. We have to do it manually. So left click on immersive character to highlight it, right click and choose extract. What you need to do is navigate to the folder that you want to extract it to. In this case, for me, it's MO2 Tutorial Mods Wicco. When I choose Select Folder, you can see it start to extract those files. I'm going to do the same thing for the other two archives. Left click Immersive Dawn Guard and choose Extract. I'm already there, so Select Folder. Left click Immersive People, Extract. I'm already there, and choose Select Folder. Now, all of these files will be loose, which allows them to uh, be overwritten correctly, if needed. We no longer need these archives, though, because we've extracted them. So over here in the left pane, Wicco, I'm going to double click and go to File Tree. This shows you all the files inside this mod. And the instructions say that we don't need the BSAs or the BSLs. So by holding down the control button and clicking on each one, I can highlight them. I'm going to right click and choose delete. Yes, I am sure. And now I've saved a bunch of hard drive space by deleting those. All right, now there are a few more steps that we need to do. And this is where we're going to start to use the hide function of Mod Organizer 2. Since Mod Organizer 2 uses a virtual file system, it's effectively like deleting the file. You just tell Mod Organizer not to virtualize those files. 
but it allows you to unhide them later in the future if you ever need to revert something. So it, it can be a very useful way to manage uh, file conflict. So what we're going to do is navigate to the files that we need to hide. First, we're going to go to Meshes, Actors, Character, Character Assets, Beast Races. And this entire folder we do not need. I'm going to right click and choose Hide. You can see that Mod Organizer 2 changes the extension to .mo hidden. Now it won't show up when it goes to load the game. The next one that we need to hide is in the same folder, but it's female head races dot try. Here, right click, choose hide. The next one is meshes, actors, character, face gen data, face geom for face geometry, and then wicko immersive character. Right click and choose hide. We also need to hide the associated texture folder, so I'm going to close that and choose Textures, Actors, Character, Face Gen Data, Face Tint, Wicko Immersive Character.esp. Right click, Hide. Okay, now there's another last step that we need to do. We need to rename a couple folders to make it work with the NPC Retexture Merge. So, we're going to go back to Meshes, and here in the face geom folder, we're going to find uh, immersive dongard.esp here. And we're going to right click that and choose rename that to npc retexture merge sse.esp. You need to type that exactly, um, otherwise it won't be detected correctly. Um, I'm going to minimize that, that folder and now here in the face, the texture, face gen data, face tint folder, we have again the Wicko immersive dongard.esp folder. Right click and choose rename. Again, you're going to change it to npc retexture merge sse.esp. Okay, we finally made it through Wicko. I promise the rest of these are not going to be as complicated. But we now, uh, with each mod after this, there are going to be some files that need to be hidden. I'm going to show you how to do it quickly. The next mod that we need to install is the Northborn uh, NPCs of Falkreath. Here, this one. Uh, and so I'm going to double click it and choose OK. I'm going to activate it and then double click the mod. This time we're going to use the conflict tab. If I click conflicts and then make sure that I have the advanced tab open, you can see that it shows every file and whether it overwrites other files or whether it's overwritten by files. This can be a really useful tool to manage conflicts. For this, make sure that you have show files that have no conflicts checked and show all conflicting mods. We're going to use the filter here. And if you look at the files on the guide that need to be hidden, you'll see that there, for each mod, there is a mesh and a texture with the same form ID. So using this filter, we can find both of them quickly. Uh, so the first number is 1364D. 1364D. You can see that by doing this, we get both the mesh and the texture at the same time. So I'm going to highlight both of them by holding the control button and left clicking, then I'll right click and choose hide. Doing it this way ensures that you hide both the mesh and the texture at the same time, helping avoid uh, problems with dark face bug. Next, we're going to uh, do the next one, which is A-A-F-A-C, and you can see it already pulls it up. So I'm going to highlight both, right click, hide. And that's all that there is for this mod. That's basically it. And you just continue doing this all the way through this section. Um, it, right? I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it gets pretty repetitive. I'll show you a few more, though, just so you can get the hang of it. Um, 
So the next mod is Metal Sabers, uh, beautiful orcs of Skyrim. This mod actually doesn't have any files to hide. I'm going to activate it. We're going to go back to Northborn NPCs, this time of the Rift. Click OK. Once it installs, uh, we'll activate it here in the left pane. Double click. Again, in the Conflict Advanced tab, we'll start entering our form IDs. First up is 13353. There's the mesh, there's the texture. Select both, hide. And then you just keep working your way through. So, you know, hopefully uh, you'll see that this is actually a pretty easy way and quick way to work. Um, take your time, there's no rush. Uh, and you'll eventually get through everything. Um, if you have questions, be sure to come by the Discord. Uh, folks on the installation channel are always happy to help.